Corinthian Rishon, 1 Corinthians 11. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. Not every woman who prays or prophesies with an uncovered head disgraces the head itself. But it is a disgrace for those who are shaven. For if the woman is sheared, yet wholly covered, such women are not obscene when wholly covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of Elohim. But the woman is the glory of the man, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in Yahweh. For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman, but all things of Yahweh. Judge in yourselves, is it comely that a woman pray unto Yahweh uncovered? Does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. But if any man seem to be contentious, we have no such custom, neither the called-out assemblies of Yahweh. Now in this that I declare unto you, I praise you not, that ye come together not for the better, but for the worse. For first of all, when ye come together in the assembly, I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. There must be also heresies among you that they which are approved may be made manifest among you, among you. When ye come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat on the day of our Adonai. For in eating everyone takes before other his own supper, and one is hungry, and another is drunken. What? Have ye not houses to eat and to drink in? For despise ye the called out assembly of Yahweh, and shame them that have not. What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of Yah that which also I delivered unto you, that Adonai Yahusha, the same night in which he was betrayed, took F the bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This is the, rather this cup, is the renewed covenant in my blood. This do ye, as oft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show Adonai's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of Yahweh, 
unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of Yahweh. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread, and drink of that cup. For he that eats and drinks unworthily eats and drinks damnation to himself, not discerning Yahweh's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of Yah, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation and the rest will I set in order when I come.